happy hump day. It's Wednesday the 19th of January and I am going to be quite busy today. So I'm having this convenience porridge. I have still got quite a lot of convenience things that I used to take to work like porridges, protein bars, stuff like that. So rather than me just giving them all away, I'm still going to use them. I am actually quite busy today. I've got to record a video for a company. I've got to go to the post office. I've just, I'm going to be manic. So I'm just going to have this and it's really low in calories. 187 for the pot. Now it's ready made and you just stick it in the microwave. However, I'm just going to have it cold, I think. So yeah, they did this one, raspberry. And there was also like a plain one that they had there. So, ready to eat porridge. I think it was a pound on offer in Tesco's. So, let's see what it looks like inside. So, I've just stuck my spoon in and dug right to the bottom. And that's what you get. The layer of raspberry-like sauce. So, yeah, I'm going to have that now. And then paint my nails and do my makeup. And then I'm off for the day. So, I will catch you in the next clip. It's lunchtime, so I'm having something really boring and easy but tasty. I've been quite busy doing stuff this morning. So I've got two little um, sandwich thins, they're 101 calories each, and I've just toasted them. And then I've got some of the Aldi's pineapple and almond roulade cheese. I've got 39 grams there, which is 146 calories. And that's the best soft cheese ever if you haven't tried it. And then I've got these two little things. Now, these were down the aisle, which sell like the Polish food in Tesco's. Um, no, they weren't. They were in Asda, sorry, not Tesco, but I've seen them in Tesco. And they're called Cake Rusks. They're 114 calories each. They're fairly big and chunky. So they're, but they're rock hard like, um, like a toasted bit of bread, but they are a sweet treat. So my whole lunch comes up at 576. Not too sure what I'm doing for tea later. I'm off to the post office when I've had this. I've got some scales to send back. And I've also got a gift to send off to somebody. So yeah. That's my lunch, so I will catch you in the next clip. So I am off to the shop and it is super, super sunny, yet cold. So I've got my old shades on, you know. So I'm nipping to our local Nisa because I found um, a recipe to do for a dinner. I'm not going to follow it, um, I'm just going to follow the gist of it, and do my own thing with it, you know, but it involves double cream, and yes, sorry about the lighting, and yes, just because you're on a diet doesn't mean you've got to have diet this, diet that, fat free this, fat free stuff, you can still have a little bit of what you like. So, I've got chicken in the fridge, so I'm doing like a chicken, pasta, tomato -y, creamy effort, a little bit of cheese, I've got 1200 and something calories left, so I could use that all on one meal if I wanted to, I just happen to have quite a few calories left a lot of the nights and then because I got a sweet tooth then I use them up on sweet stuff which helps me stick to my calories because I'm not going without you know so if there's a meal I want that might be higher in calories then I'll just have less of a treat in the night it's not the be all and end all but having what you want when you're trying to lose weight helps you sustain and stick to your plan rather than going without going without going without every day boring food you're like oh god I'm on a diet and then thinking blow it and eating 
half a Tesco's when you go in there. Or all your sweets out your drawers or whatever. Because I have got four sets of treat drawers in my kitchen, right? And they, I could go on the biggest sweet rampage of my life if I wanted to. But my mentality is where it needs to be. And I wouldn't dream of going in my sweet drawers and eating... Um, stuff that I don't need because I'm having it in moderation now it's all about moderation and having what you like so yeah I'm going to Nisa now and then I'm going to do my parcels and then I've got to go straight up the school as it's school time again I'll tell you what these um all times just whiz by look at that I've got glasses on my face and glasses on my head because I can't read if you don't them oh I'll tell you what so right off to Nisa so I'm at the school now this one's just come back on the end the flour over your tie. He made bread today, but he said it's not very good. But it smells really good. He took cheese in, put cheese on it, but apparently he weren't allowed to put it on. But or it was too late or something. It looks good, doesn't it? I'll put some cheese on now. No, don't put cheese on now because it won't stick to it. You um, it's got a good bounce to it. Smells nice. So we were, we were putting the um, well, well, we did the yeast in the jug. Yeah. And Rich was sat next to me. And he did it perfectly, right? And, and they said, don't put the entire thing in. The entire sachet? Yeah. yeah uh, no, don't, uh, I put a half thing. The sachet? I, yeah. Mm. And I looked around mm. and he said, don't tip it all in to the bowl. Right, and I was like, all right. So I put it into a little tiny ones, and they said, uh, like the, right before I was about to enter the entire jug, mm -hmm. they said, don't put all of it in, leave half a cup. And you put it all in? Yeah. And it was all gooey, it was all in my hands. Yeah, was, bread was, can bread be all, gooey. All, all, all in my hands, it was lovely. It was lovely. <laughs> well, please don't sit there and eat that whole loaf of bread that you oh. just said is bland. Mackenzie. Wrap it up. The brothers might want to try it. You've got flour oil on your mouth now. And you've got nothing to drink. You might be dry. Look at your tie. You've got flour everywhere. Can you go to the shop? Can you go to the shop? Yeah. No, babe. Get drink. No. I'm not spending money at the shop. I've just been to the shop. I've just been to Nisa to get lottery and... Um... I was off to of the fiver to jump in the hill. And I was doing it for the second of the day. What? I was off. Is that what happened the other day while you got all muddy? No. Oh, yeah, tell me the truth. <laughs> Is that what happened? No. Did give you a fiver for that today? No. I just fell off. This kid came home yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Thick with mud, right? I'm not even kidding you. All over his shirt, all down his trouser leg, everywhere. And he keeps saying that he falls down this hill. I did. And anyway, I, I slipped well, on now my... you've just said you were offered a fiver to jump down the hill. No, I was offered you know, to push Kian. That's hand. terrible, Mackenzie. Oh, yeah, I did, and he pushed me off as well. He jumped with my arm and I fell off. Oh, so, you're right. so you're all muddy again? No. Oh my god. What goes through your minds in school? So, did you get a fiver? You didn't do very well at your... Um... No, because I, I, I wasn't able to push him off. Oh, my God, what's this car doing? Oh, my God. Can you get out there? Yeah. Oh, this car park! Right. I'm going to go up to school and get them, and I'll show you uh, what I picked up in Nisa. Just show you quickly what I picked up in Nisa. Parsley. I'll stick calories on screen. Spinach for the old piggy wiggies. Let's 
some spooky Oreos. They were selling them off cheap because they were left over from Halloween. They had little mini bags. I thought they'd be good for kids' pack lunches. And they are 90 calories a bag. It's not bad, so. And they're in date until the end of the month. I've got three peppers for our tea. Some easy peelers. Two of these dairy milk bunnies, orange mousse. I did buy them for me. Whether I get one or not is another thing. I've only got the cal calories on. Oh, yeah, 169 calories. It's quite a lot for that. I got them. And then I also got the kids. Cream egg each. Mackenzie's just had his. Cream egg each. There is a spare one going. You never know, I might have that myself, you know. And then I got pasta for tonight. Chunky pasta sauce for tonight. Elmley double cream for tonight. Now this cream is 335 calories for 100 ml. There's 270 in there. That's quite a lot of calories. However, we're splitting this into, I always do it into like six portions mainly if I'm doing it in a dish where you can cut it up. Otherwise, I'll do it into five portions and then I'll just measure them all out. Semi-skimmed milk. Barbecue sauce, because we go through that like mad. bottle of their value squash because the kids drink loads of squash I will rarely have a squash but sometimes I do and you're looking at four calories for 250 ml serving as prepared and then the last two things I got were these goo goo desserts And they were on offer for £1.50 and they're usually about three quid in Tesco, aren't they? So the double chocolate desserts, 194 calories each. Quite nice, isn't they? And then the I've had these ones before. Mango, mandarin and passion fruit, 157. And they are oh delicious. That's all I picked up in there and I got the lottery. Keep my fingers crossed they win. Right, that's everything. So the kids will be back in a minute. And we're going to go home. And... How do you have Oh, I've been titivating all day. I've just got a couple of things to do. I've, got to, I've sorted out all my makeup, all my nail varnishes. And I've, I've got to carry a bag full to the top. And it's all but bursting. So I've sorted them out. I'm giving them to Jess. Um, oh, I think I'll be sorting out stuff for the rest of my life. But yeah, she'll be happy with those. I'm actually going to bingo on Saturday. I'm going out for dinner tomorrow with um, my come dine with me girls. We haven't got together for ages. We're going to a restaurant in Bridgend. I'm not sure what it's called. Maybe Poke 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 Club or something? Oh, I don't know. I'll let you know when I get there. We'll go in there. So tomorrow I won't be cooking any tea. I'll just be sorting the kids out and Warren before I disperse. Um, but yeah. So I'll catch you when I'm back in the house. Bye guys. So I am just sitting down for two minutes and I'm going to have one of my sweets I had from the girls in work. 79 calories for a lint ball. I am just doing another builder recipe on the app and this is just some chicken and I have chopped it up and I've rubbed in this Oxo rub or sprinkle smokehouse. So I've just coated the chicken in a little bit of that. I've 
in the middle of building a recipe, so I can't remember what the calories were. But I'm going to stick it in the ninja to cook off while my pasta I've got pasta cooking there. So I'm literally chucking a whole drawer full and gone with my tongues. I'm just putting the whole drawer full in there and I'm going to put a little bit of calorie calorie for spray from Costco don't count that and some people say oh it's not free calories zero right ninja let's be having you one drawer no we want to let's roast the chicken on 200 for 12 minutes to start with and we shall see what that comes out like so that is my chicken it needs to go on a bit longer i'm just going to break it up a bit because as you can see see it's still raw so i'm just giving that a churn up and that will go back on There we are. Got a double cream ready. And then in this drawer, I've just put onion and peppers, a bit of spray. In they go. So we're gonna go number one. No, we're not, I turned it off. We're gonna go number one and we're gonna roast it on 190 for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna go number two. We're gonna air fry them for 10, uh, 12 minutes on 200 and now they're both off on the old go everybody's anchoring around for their dinner and I'm still doing it so next stage so this is all the veg and the chicken in with the pasta the sauce and the cream so I'm going to transfer it to a dish and stick a bit of cheese on and bung it in the oven so that is in the dish. I'm just adding this bit of cheese that's left over. Mackenzie took this to school this morning and didn't put it in his bread, so I'm just going to put that on. Now this works out at 646 calories a portion, and that is with it serving six people. So I don't think that's bad. I don't want to feed the kids. 100% diet food all the time, low fat this, low fat that, because sometimes a bit of fat in the right places, you know, it's not bad for you. And you can eat what you like, basically. It's your choice if you want to eat it or not. But we obviously aren't counting our macros and things. I'm just... Eating what I like and losing weight. So, just chuck that last bit of cheese on. Bang this in the oven now. And that is it. Ta da! It is ready to serve. Smells absolutely delicious. I'm sending some down to Floss, so I better get on and dish up is dinner so that is my portion it's slightly smaller because I didn't want as big a portion as what came out but I'm still going to count the same amount of calories so this portion I'm counting 646 the parsley didn't even weigh anything so I haven't counted that anyway and then I have got a part bake roll from Aldi I weighed it and it was 64 grams, which was 168 calories. And I've got 7 grams of clo like, clover light rather for 32 calories. So my whole dinner tonight is 846. So I've decided to use a bit more calories in my main meal. But I'm still coming in with 303 left for a treat, which is ample. So yeah, that is it. I'm going to go and eat it and it looks scrummy so yeah and it was so easy doing most of it in the air fryer so if you haven't got a ninja 
Jewel Air Fryer, 100% recommend them. And when I've got um, a spare day to mess around with it, I will do a vlog on it. But yeah, so that's my dinner. So this is what I'm finishing my night with. I've got one of the Goo Mango desserts for 157. And I'm also having a Whip Bar Cherry Bakewell, which is 97, I think it was. And I've got 49 calories left. So that is me done for the day. And I will catch you tomorrow for the next one. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.